Welcome to the city of Ored, one of the most famous cities in Macedonia and it's located on Lake Ored. It's one of 28 UNESCO World Heritage Sites that are both cultural and natural. It is referred to as Jerusalem of the Balkans because at one point it had 365 churches. For the next two days we're going to explore the city and the lake. Let's start with what to see in the city of Ored. A good place to start exploring is the Old Town. Make your way up the hill to see some of Ored's historical monuments. Behind me we have St. John Canal Church. It's a Byzantine church from the 13th century and is the most photographed spot in all of Macedonia. You can see why. Another beautiful church to check out is St. Clement Church. Here's my guy Jivka with some background on St. Clement. This church is St. Clement Plaušnik. It's built from 9th century and exists from the 9th to the 15th century. And 15th century is destroyed and reconverted to mosque. 500 years later it's become a ruin. In 2000 year, the government of the Republic of Macedonia together with the citizens and Orthodox Macedonian Church decide to rebuild this church to the new one, of course of the base of the oldest one, which date from the 9th century. Now we make our way up to Tsar Samuel's Fortress. This is Samuel Fortress. It was built in the 10th century and from here we have the most stunning views of Lake Ored and the town. Tsar of the first Bulgarian Empire and best known for defending Bulgaria against Byzantine domination. He eventually moved the capital of the empire to Ored and built one of the greatest strongholds in the Balkans. Today the fortress is a great place for panoramic views of the lake and the city of Ored. Admission is 30 Macedonian dinar. The Roman Theater. It was built to accommodate 4,000 spectators and was used for gladiatorial battles. Recently it was uncovered and is free to enter. Heading back down the hill, we visit one of the most important monuments in Macedonia, the Church of Saint Sophia. Here is Jivka with some more information. We are on the front of the Cathedral Church Saint Sophia. It's a beautiful architecture. It's a built in the 10th century from the Tsar Love. It's still in very good condition and beautiful fresco inside. The surviving frescoes date back to the 11th, 12th and 13th centuries. Now we head back to the main square of Ored to shop for Ored's famous pearls. I'm here with Clement Talev and his family has been producing the Ored pearls for generations. Now what is an Ored pearl? Basically they buy the raw materials of the pearl from Australia, they bring it here. Then they get a fish from the lake that's like a sardine, a very small fish. They open its stomach and its two uh, sides to the stomach, a white side and a silver side. They use the white side to extract it and put it on the mother pearl. Then they use the silver side to polish it. And that's how we make the Ored pearls. And now it's time to go shopping. The Telev family workshop has been here since 1924. And you'll never guess who shopped here. Queen Elizabeth bought this exact necklace and you can see it right here. No visit to Ored is complete without first taking a boat ride on the lake. From here, you'll get magnificent views of the city and lakeshore. Our first day trip from Ord brings us south of the city to National Park Galicisa. The park separates Lake Ord and Lake Prespa. It's popular with hikers and nature lovers who want to enjoy clean, fresh air and stunning views of the lakes and towns below. You can also take your own car like we did. A visit to the monastery of St. Naum and the Black Dream Springs is also a fantastic day trip from Ord. The monastery is located on a rocky outcrop at the southernmost part of Lake Ord near the Albanian border. Inside this cross-shaped church is the tomb of St. Naum. Right here we have the tomb of St. Naum and legend has it that if you put your ear next to the tomb you can hear his heartbeat but you have to believe. Let's do it. You can 
could definitely hear something, but I'm sure it's my pulse. <laughs> When you're finishing the church, head down to the riverbank to hire a rowboat to take you to see the crystal clear springs of the Drim River. So that was my list of top things to see in Ored, definitely one of the highlights of my trip to Macedonia. Thank you.